Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can do basic text effects in Final Cut Express. Now, I'm only showing you guys how to do this because I was recently fooling around in Final Cut Express, and I wondered how to do text effects, and I figured it was a little different than some other video editors that I've used. Like, for example, in ScreenFlow or in Sony Vegas, it's easier to do text effects than it is in Final Cut. And but once I realized how to do the text effects in Final Cut, I realized that it was really easy and really simple. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can do some basic text effects in Final Cut Express, like this text effect right here that you're seeing. As you see, it's kind of basic. You don't, it doesn't really pop out or do anything exciting, but the point is it's a text effect. Now, in the next video, after this one, I'm going to show you guys how to make a fancy text effect like this using a combination between Final Cut Express and Live Type. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to go ahead and make text effects inside of Final Cut Express, it's actually very simple. So, to go ahead and get started, we're going to go ahead and make sure we have a new sequence created. And first, we're going to go ahead and drag in a background image just so we have something else to look at while we're going ahead and we're creating our text effect. And real quick, I'm going to go ahead and just resize this background to make it full size of the video the way we want to. And I think that's pretty good. So anyway, now that we have our background in place, what we want to do is we want to go over here into the browser window and click on effects. And then you want to scroll down and you want to find video generators and then scroll down to text. As you see here, I already have them expanded. So just expand video generators and then expand text. And then as you notice, you have a couple different options here. You have an option for crawl, which will basically make text crawl over across the screen. You have a, tech, uh, a choice for lower third, outline text, scrolling text, text, and typewriter. Now if you want to choose any of these other different text effects, that's fine, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to go ahead and focus on the one here that says text. So take that and drag that into the timeline, and drag that and crop it to fit the space that is desired. So, as you see here, I have the background here, and my aim is to be able to fade it in, so we go ahead and have the text faded in right here. So, we can we don't really need the viewer window anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and just choose on this preview window over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the text layer and we're going to go ahead and double click on it, which will bring up the text in this viewer window right here. Once that's there, you want to go up to controls, and you, then here where it says sample text is where you can go ahead and put in your text. So if I just type in if I just type in Nick W334 and I go back to video, as you notice, Nick W334 is the text right here. And then you can go ahead and choose the font if you go right here, so you can choose any font you want to. I'm going to choose the Calibri font for the purposes of this video. You can choose the style of it, whether it be plain, bold, italics, or bold slash italics. I'm going to choose bold for this because I like bold Calibri. And you can choose the font color out of this. Now if we expand this option, you get to choose the hue, saturation, and brightness. I think that's what this stands for. I'm not 100% sure. But if we go ahead and click on this, we can go ahead and choose the color we want to. So I'm going to choose yellow. And you can go ahead and choose these different options by selecting this. And I do believe this is the hue and the saturation levels. So we're just going to keep it at yellow. That's good enough. And so if you guys also want to choose another color that's already on the screen, here's the eyedropper tool, which you can go ahead and just click to choose another color. But however, I do not want to do that. And you can also go ahead and choose the origin point on here. You can choose the tracking, leading, and the aspect of it. And you can even go ahead and turn on the use of subpixel or the auto kerning. But however, I'm going to just go ahead and keep everything the same. And if you absolutely need to, you can go ahead and change how the text looks here in this timeline here by adding in keyframes. But however, we're not going to go ahead and do that for the sake of this video. And so another thing that I like to do to go ahead and to make sure the text is, make sure the text looks better, we're going to go here to motion and we're going to go ahead and check mark drop shadow because everything looks better with a drop shadow. And if you want to go ahead and change the drop shadow, you can go ahead and expand the drop shadow window to go ahead and view more options. But for now, I'm going to go back to controls and I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to change the size, make it a little bit bigger. And then if we go back to video, as you notice here it is. So, as you can see right down here, we've done a whole bunch of changes. And that, that little red bar up there means that we have to render. Now instead of going ahead and selecting everything and rendering the entire selection, what we want to do is we want to just select our text layer and go up to sequence, render selection, and just, just pick video. Because we don't need both because it has no audio for it. 
And now that we have that done, as you notice, we have the text down here in the timeline. Now, if you want to go ahead and add in another text effect that's the exact same, all you need to do is click here in the preview window and then just drag in. And then, as you notice, there's another text effect and it's unrendered. But we're going to delete that because we do not need that. And so now, if we go ahead into the preview window right over here and click play, as you notice, the text just pops up out of nowhere. Now, that's fine and all, but I don't want it to pop up out of nowhere. Let's say I wanted to go ahead and fade in. Now, we're actually going to use the how to make a basic video fade tutorial that I did quite a while ago. And uh, all we're going to do is we're going to go back here into the effects tab and we're going to go to video transitions and then dissolve and I'm going to click cross dissolve and I'm going to drag that in to about right there. And I'm also going to add one in towards the end. And then once that's done we're going to go ahead and just select these cross dissolves and we're going to go and we're going to render the selection. And I just chose render both by accident, but you can just choose to render the video. So now as you see, there's no red marks there. All we need to do is go into the preview window and click play. And then as you notice, the text fades in. And as we go towards the end, the text fades out. And you can go ahead and do this for a multiple different number of effects. And you can go ahead and choose to customize this any way you want to, to go ahead and add in your text effects. And also, just in case you guys are wondering how I got the text to rotate like I did earlier in the beginning of this video, what we're going to do is we're just going to expand the preview window here, make sure everything's done and rendered, then go up here and make sure it's selected the image plus wireframes, and then just drag your cursor off to the side and you should see something that like this that has a little rotate button. Just rotate it and move it off to the screen wherever you want to. And that's it. So if I go ahead and just choose image and uh, we play it, well we have to render it of course. So let me just go ahead and render the selection again. So now that everything's rendered, if we go ahead and play it from the beginning, as you notice, the text fades in from over there. So that's pretty much it. You guys can go ahead and go ahead and customize this any way you want to, but pretty much that is how you go ahead and do this effect. Okay guys, and so that's how you can go ahead and do it. That's how you go ahead and add very simple, very basic text effects into Final Cut Express. See, it looks hard at first when you're looking around for it, but once you're once you know how to do it, it's really simple and you know how to add new text effects. So, this tutorial wasn't a really advanced tutorial, it was meant to be more of a little basic tutorial for the beginners of Final Cut Express, but I still hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, be sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and my website, and anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Now, if I look really weird when I was talking at you guys like this, it's because it's the first time I'm actually doing a kind of video like this, so if I'm talking to the camera weird, well, just, just bear with me. I'll get used to it a little bit better. So, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time.